Hey guys, it's Merle Cox again. Thanks for coming back to my YouTube channel. Here's where I'm trying to explain a little bit more about voice meter, especially if you don't like to pick up the manual and read it like myself. So what I'm going to do is I have two other videos out there. One talks about uh, voice meter and the macro buttons, which my plan is to do quite a few more of those because that's kind of some uh, mystery uh, within voice meter because there's really no videos out there yet detailing it. So I, I put a video out there explaining a little bit about uh, macro buttons and introduce you to them, but I hope to put more videos out um, about those coming real soon. The second video I put out was about utilizing a mix minus from voice meter banana to Skype. And I may redo that one because I'm trying to get some terminology down and use all the right words. And my goal is uh, with that video is to try to make mix minus easy to understand, especially when you're dealing with voice meter banana to Skype. But today what I want to do is I just want to go over voice meter banana with you real quick and just share some basics with you. So what is voice meter banana? It basically is a software mixer. Um, you've got inputs and you've got outputs. So here's what voice meter banana gives you. It gives you three hardware inputs and these right here are referred to as strips really. Um, if you look at one of my uh, macros you'll see strip. That's how you refer to it at least in a macro and this is technically strip zero um, so the the input right here of microphone is technically strip zero, but this is input one. Uh, here's input two, input three, input four, and input five. So working from left to right, that's strip zero is microphone. BAPC would be strip one. Strip two would be podcaster PC. Strip uh, three would be hangout, and strip four is Skype PC. Um, but they're also referred to as inputs, so the first three strips are hardware inputs, and the last two right here, titled Hangout and Skype PC, those are virtual inputs. So what happens is, as I showed you and I will show you again, when you install Voice Meter Banana, it will install some virtual um, inputs and outputs. So here under your system sound playback, you will see that voice meter installed two virtual inputs. And I've labeled them and you can label them yourself. I just labeled them to try to make it easier when I'm selecting, um, selecting them in other applications. Uh, and make it kind of jive so I know which one's which. So you'll see right here the bottom um, input is I've labeled it voice meter channel 4. So if you go back to voice meter and start from microphone and work over, count 1, 2, 3, 4. That would be the strip or input labeled hangout. And then channel 5 is the strip or input labeled Skype PC. So whatever I route to those last two virtual channels will come in to voice meter here. So um, uh, that's kind of cool. And then we'll go back to the first three inputs or strips and you'll see when you click uh, you will get the list of actual hardware inputs that your computer has. As you can see I've got a Delta uh, 1010 LT card in here which has several inputs. Um, cool thing that you'll see also is I've also installed a virtual cable so I can actually turn one of these hardware in, or yeah hardware inputs into a virtual input um, and you can see that right here that cable output that is a virtual cable that is free from VB audio so it can give you actually you can have three virtual input channels instead of just the two. Um, so there's your inputs and then let's talk outputs real quick. So for hardware outputs, if you look up in the upper right hand corner, it says hardware out right there and you see a one, two and three. This is how you can route your audio to different pieces of hardware. And I'll just click on a one. You'll see I've got a, uh, an output labeled main out that goes to my Personas audio box I two. 
uh, which I have some speakers hooked up to it. So that way, when I route audio to that A1 hardware output, I can hear it. Um, you'll see if you look at the microphone input or strip, you'll notice I don't have A1 selected there. I'm not routing my microphone audio to hardware A1. Otherwise, I would hear it in studio and it'd give me an echo because there is some latency. I mean, it's milliseconds, but your brain can hear it and it just, it'll drive you crazy. Um, but you'll see that the next inputs or strips I do have routed. So whatever comes in those um, inputs, I can hear in studio. So, so I know what's going on. So that's kind of your hardware outputs. If you go down to the master section down here, um, not only can you see some of the channels for those hardware outputs, they're labeled A1, A2, A3, but you'll also see the last two little strips here is labeled B1 and B2. Those are virtual outputs. So this is where you can route audio to applications like Skype or Google Hangout, or if you have an MP3 recorder like I do, um, I use a application called, I think it's Audio Recorder. Let me double check that here real quick. That is, or you could Audacity, you can route it to Audacity, um, a total recorder. So I can actually route all the audio coming out of voice meter to total recorder and actually record it in mp3 or some other format that I want. So that's just a quick overview of voice meter banana and some of the hardware and virtual inputs and outputs. Hopefully that makes sense. If you've got any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. If you like this, give it a like, thumbs up, um, and uh, hey, do me a favor, and if you liked it, share it. All right. Hey, thanks, and we will talk to you real soon.